All right, we're doing another pre-recorded uh, direct react because we got up way too late to do it live, you know. Cause... Yeah, we got up at like ten. <laughs> oh, basically, eight in the morning is like when the direct airs for us, and we're not we're not uh, up that late, up that early, unless something. Unless we have to, you know, like, unless just like a flight or something, like something major, yeah. like. Flight or we just get up that early. Yeah. Would, like it's really rare for us to kind of do that. Yeah, like uh. We didn't even go to bed that late either. It's just we just needed sleep. It's deadlifting day too, so I need to sleep. So uh, yeah. yeah. Pretty beefy one, forty-two minutes long. Damn. Uh, All I'm, right. I haven't got gotten spoiled on anything. So, well, I, I didn't think I did, did see something in the sidebar while loading this video up because you know YouTube recommendations suck Ooh. like that. Fox rated uh, ending to mature seventeen plus. So everybody in this. Everybody in this, who's watching this video, video better be 17 plus or I'm grounding you. Cool. If you're not, if you're not get out of this fucking, get off this fucking channel. I made 1.25 speed this. Yeah. Oh, this is long. Go, direct. Oh, Splatoon. Woo, Splatoon. Why well, she got a nice butt? Yeah, why did, why is her ass defined? Like, uh... Are they taking, you know, uh, lessons from the porn artist? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, why? Yeah, like, like, her ass is way too defined for, like, you know. Why Squid Girl thick? Why Squid Girl got dumpy? Yeah. Like, I, I actually heard the fucking, like, the fucking first player stuff, like, the main campaign for Splatoon 3 is actually really fucking good. What is a Splatoon X near Automata? And it made us why the Squid's dumpy. Maybe. It does kind of look like it has near Automata vibes. Oh, you got, you know, the little fucking thing that's flying around. It's just, you know, kind of like the pod. Yeah, I should play Splatoon more, I don't know. Maybe it's time to go play Splatoon more. That's like how increasingly dark looking the game is getting. It, it looks like it looks like it's like one of those things where it, 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 it might be like there's a lot of good shit underneath all of it. Like I saw the salmon the salmon stuff, and apparently that was pretty good. Maybe Splatoon, you know, being uh why is she so thick? What is going on with fucking Splatoon, guys? You're a thick nail, you're a squid nail. What like, what are they doing? Hello everyone. Hi. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Hi, Direct. Get the fuck out of there. You just saw a new trailer for Wave 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion Pass DLC, Side Order. Nice this side brand chick. new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's planned to I want to play it because, yeah, like, I prefer so single-player myself. To yeah, I, I tried to play a bunch of multiplayer okay, and I got kind of bored after a bit. Let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh shit. The toys are back in town. Hey, look, it's Donkey Kong. Wish he would have his own game. Donkey Mario. Kong. Mario. I actually never played the series. The I know it's been around like the GBA or whatever. The Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. With his eyes on the prize. The remake? Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. It's gotta be a remake. I kind of want to play it. And it's up to Mario to track him down. I mean, I would rather prefer a uh, real Donkey Kong game, but I guess this works. I mean... Contraptions and other challenges I did, I did like uh, Donkey Kong uh, on the Game Boy. Action okay, Donkey Kong 94. Success. Yeah. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? Like Diddy Kong. If Mario does this. I thought it was Diddy Kong. Now he can get across. It's kind of like a and fun little, like, uh, kind of like arcade like, side scroller platformer, I think. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. That's fun. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and Is that Martin A's voice or what? Because like I didn't know it's for a GBA, which I think he's voice clips. So I'm not really freezing in those or updated version of the game, you can play oh, no. with a friend in local co-op. However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. So we're gonna play this together and Mario I'm gonna do a bunch of dumb shit and launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. I may check it out because I never actually played the original Shop. back in the day. That was cool. Save the prince and the world. Oh, yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, hey, Prince of Persia, Guy Lost Crown. I hate the, the fucking prince of Persia style, honestly. And restore the world's balance. Saving the, your guy, you're saving the prince. The that seems kind of gay. Prince of Persia series. This game features 2D side-scrolling action-adventure gameplay. 
Dash through breathtaking environments in a Gameplay. mythological, Persian-inspired world. Gameplay. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers, to best these hostile lands. Got him on the to join this reaction. Sargon will grow stronger and learn well, it's better than her, like, not almost arsenal. knocking over he the second monitor. Further boost your abilities, among other perks. The she number of like... you can equip is limited, though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malka. When Prince of Persia, you know, the Lost Crown, the that was already like a, system, announced. January I don't remember them ever announced the Mario vs. Donkey Kong thing. Why does the title look so 80s? Uh, the title looks kind of mid. These games will help you chase your passions. Chase. Okay. Rev up for true arcade racing in oh, Horizon shit. Chase 2. Speed through Draw the car, go vroom vroom. Each with its own dynamic art style while Meh. overtaking your rivals on the road. It looks cooler than like you know the hyper realistic racing games, but I mean, it's not my type of game. It's very green for your vehicle and style it to fit your high It's a 190 racing game. That's at every fucking like arcade still. Daytona. Not Daytona. Uh, cruising USA. It will never be cruising USA. Got him on Nintendo Switch later today. Arm like a little. Warm up she, she's, for musical she's mayhem ready in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your Super crazy rhythm music castle. Oh yeah, Konami's back, baby. Bosses. Look at this masterpiece oh, yeah. of the game. You got beans, hell yeah. Including music from iconic Konami games. Playing Blade Tales Castle. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be like one of those like, hey, remember all this good music from our like uh, games we all pay attention to anymore? In for Castlevania, and Metal Gear. What is Final Fantasy? What is State of Rhythm Barline for the Xeno Gears DLC? Oh Anya! shit, it's Spike's family. Has a new assignment from school. Oh no, what's she doing? Diary. What's she cooking? Weekdays, <laughs> head to class, then enjoy family. Wait, wait. You telling me they're making a spy family game where you're playing Zanya? Like, yes. <laughs> is this like Persona but kindergarten? Like, what? what's going on here? <laughs> dude, dude. Like, okay, but are you allowed to go and commit crimes as Anya? Like, do, do you, can you get in a fucking alliance where you're good or evil? Because, like, you could make Anya do the worst fucking shit. You can make her go be evil. She can go make pipe bombs. Also, yours fingers are very, uh, painted. Uh, yeah, welcome to Bamco's, like, fucking third string department and how they do things. Time in the evenings. On days off, <laughs> you can visit all sorts of exciting places. Like, like the Black Panther for lolicons. In search of <laughs> the photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo wait, 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 what is this? Like Hold beach, on. Or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph in the evenings with Simon okay, from school. Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evening. It's funny, I don't know anything about Spy Family. It's looks like it's, it's looks like a series made for like little, little kids, but it's not really. Exciting no. Places, like the beach or an art museum in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? What? Why does your look so funny? Just look Why at her. This looks really funny. Anya and looks what hilarious kind of photo here. Diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Excuse me, Pete Gaming has arrived. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. Oh shit, more details about Mario RPG. The Super Mario RPG game is back. Pete is back on the menu. Rapid. RPG game. Let's go over some oh, new shit, my River. gameplay features. Oh, I got crushed. Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. Yeah, what the hell's percentage thing? When you Tell time me. your attacks perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Huh. Every Interesting. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character triple move. So it's a triple tech, basically. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. I just hope that doesn't make the game too easy because, uh... I mean, I'm like a master of this game, so... You're gonna beat this in a fucking day, dude. <laughs> You're gonna beat this in a fucking day. I hope they kind of, like, make it more challenging, you know? It, it, it almost During makes me want to be like, maybe I should... Well, I don't want to... I, I feel like you should go game, play it because you you're kind of the person who's going to master it, but I feel like you're going to beat this in, like, one but session. These powered up bosses aren't gonna be Post -game oh, bosses. That, that's really cool, actually. Oh, good. Cool, I could fight Booster because, like, Booster is optional. He could be, like, beat the uh, curtain game. Look at Booster's face, though. So. Damn! They're like adding more challenges to it. Oh shit, Boomer. Set off for oh, adventure with Mario they're teasing Kulix there. Super Mario oh sweet, they, they're keeping Kulix then? Well, like, at the door Kulix is in, like, they showed like, the, the shiny stone's reacting, so... I hope they keep, I hope they keep Kulix. I saw people being like, uh, they should put Sephiroth in there instead, it's like... Please, no. I mean... 
Maybe it's like a different optional battle, but keep Kulix in, man. Yeah, keep Kulix. Also, game came on 96. It would make sense for Sephiroth to be in there. Yeah, like, I mean, he wasn't even a thing. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> Is this Trace Memory? The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, yep. returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code huh. to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought I tried replaying this and I got stuck on the sliding puzzle. Answers, she <laughs> just like replayed on the DS. Yeah. Earth, Earth, Earth Switch, sorry. Him. Once there, Ashley oh, uses puzzles thick. and obstacles that hinder her investigation. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for that one, aren't I? Hmm. And how old is this Ashley again? Take, I don't take a seat. Know. <laughs> well, why do they? Why? <laughs> I do like the art style a lot, though. I mean, let's hang on you. <laughs> she also meets a mysterious boy. What truth no, is Ashley in this crimes. place? We don't. No matter how uh, don't loot Ani. Get her to commit war crimes. Face. You got an eternal blush going on. The sequel, yeah, that's another the art code style. I know. Journey into lost memories. I think she had that in the original. In North America is also included. So this is Lake Juliet, huh? It looks really pretty. Play both it does look really pretty. Like, uh, the full story. Unravel oh, she got the fucking bisexual. <laughs> for <Nintendo> <laughs> Switch, <laughs> she has the flannel. bisexual fit. She's just like me, for real, for real. So, no, okay, all right, all right, no, 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 dude, this is actually pretty dope. Another code recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel which was never released in North America. Huh. Both games okay. are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them so, early next year. I didn't know there was a sequel that didn't ding it. I didn't know there was a sequel now. either. No, that's, that's super cool. Cool. Oh, Peach? Never... <laughs> what Peach you doing? More about the Peach game. One day, a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it. But then... <laughs> the Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made the their wicked grand entrance grape. and took center stage. <laughs> Got any grapes? Now, it's up to Peach oh, shit, and the Guardian Stella to save the play and the day. This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Oh, she's she got a ponytail. Yeah. Ponytail, Peach. Okay, it looks the pretty fun. Uh, that's actually yeah, like, uh, so I'm not playing Super Princess Peach, but... I never played it either. She's Cinderella now. Whoa, oh, no. Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. Cool. Like finally, she can use a peach that a peach that represents me. Finally, the sour bunch with Raphael from Soul Calibur Go. <laughs> can Peach save this performance? Dude, why is she gonna dump me? She's dumpy too. Well, dude, <laughs> everyone <laughs> dump me there now. Nintendo said, "Yeah, y'all get asses." Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone. Can we Peach into a girl boss? Hey, oh shit, Herlock Sholmes. Herlock Sholmes, Peach. Track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach and Patissier save it from a Peach. sugar crash. So Peach has the many jobs. Got their hands on this martial Peach arts is Barbie, school. don't Become you know that? Kung Fu Peach and take it back from these foul Hi, peas. Peach. <laughs> Hi, Peach. Hi, Mario. I so, want to be ninja. Yep. She wants to be many ninja. Many transformations <laughs> are just behind the curtain. The There's a uh, stripper Peach here. Is ready for the spot. <laughs> the strip club. Here's Bimbo Peach. Princess Peach, showtime. Here's a uh, Merchant Peach. On Nintendo Switch, oh March 22nd. I'll play it. Today uh, uh, we, we will be playing. Man, the, the fucking direct could never. No, not, not, not the direct, but the fucking state of play could never. Yeah, play, the state of play could never go and give us her last old peach. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some yeah. more headlines. Dynamite. A new saga begins. Saga. A multi layered RPG full of rich oh. stories away oh, from sexy saga cowgirl. and beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. Oh yeah, puppet man. A witch disguised as a squirrel. I'm really sorry if you're interested. They kind of play like how Fallen is he too does. Fighting duo chasing down a mysterious Bonnie organization. Bonnie and Formina. Oh, a Songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their fun, goals. But... Okay, I haven't played Saga. Oh, it's just a little too much like we the tried to do live live. Unlock different paths, like, uh, more than ever before seen. I think, I think uh, Final Fantasy Adventure was like a Saga game, technically. For the Game Boy. I played that Code God with Chainsaw. That was kind of cool. Use yeah. special techniques to control the order of actions. Or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle team in your combos. favor. 
Saga Emerald Sorry, Beyond check the mic, on sure. Nintendo Switch right here, right next here. year. Okay. Well, that looks pretty cool. The legendary raider returns. Oh shit! You, they got gave Raboo's the back. Hell yeah! Woo! Raboo's back. Visuals are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Dude, Woo! Boobs are, are back. Are we finally past the puritanism in gaming? Because like we got Laura Croft back and she got accurate titties. Like bro. Bro, are we finally uh, back? I mean, we got so much ass now. Honestly, I may play this because like I've tried playing the old PS. Damn. Okay, dumpy. Damn. I've tried to play the old PS1 Tomb Raiders, and in my opinion, they have not aged that well when it comes to controls and shit. Uh, I'm, I'm down for, like, you know, a accurate remaster of these, but with, like, legends. maybe, like, better controls. Better asses. <laughs> they kind of keep the PS1 look a little bit. Yeah, they do. Like, modernize a little bit. Way, I should know, never mind. That's, uh, to uncover treasures of the ancient world yeah. And unravel mysteries. So kind of give it God damn! Give it <laughs> give it this faithfully remastered trilogy comes with she's all just, the expansions just like me, for real, for real. secret levels for each game. You can also toggle direct. between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at That's any cool. time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered. I gotta play that. I've never played these, so like, this is interesting. Again, I've like tried to play the first game. It was didn't age that well, in my opinion. This detective's got a second oh, yeah, bolt of brilliance. Look at you. Every great detective starts their day early. That fucking this voice sends me. Humans and Pokemon co Read about how stick the the detective is. duo of Pikachu. I think it's already. And his partner Tim. Tim and Tim. Investigate various cases. White guy named Tim. Searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. 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 Hang on a second. Detective starts their day early. This when it comes to, like Tim's sit. dad, let's look at that again. Hang on. Uh. Coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu Can you sit? and his partner Tim investigate. I feel like they just took Tim's model and put like fucking facial hair on. I was like, that's the dad. They probably did. <laughs> they probably did. Cases. Yeah, that still looks like a fucking like young boy. They just with like fake facial yeah, hair or it's something. Yeah, totally like the same <laughs> fucking face, Harry, but with like fucking Tim's facial hair. Father. It looks like a fucking Life of Strange character. Tim interviews kind of. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow sense. Can, with I, can I have sex with a Lou Pony to go ahead and get information? With Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? The problem is that the, the, the fucking character, the fucking human models look like shit, returns. so like, you know, I don't want to try it out. Yeah, the problem is that, like, even this is good, like, it's gonna be like Wii a 7 out of 10 game with those graphics, dude. Um... This game's a real toot! <laughs> you said oh yeah, gaming's back. Guys, excuse me, Pete Gaming is back on the menu. for the quirky rhythm game, Trombone Champ. Play the oh, yeah, notes in time, but the music as best you can. I guess you're playing a switch. But how you play that horn is up to you. Why are they using me character models? You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. We've gone. Or we've the uh, motion camera on the right gone a long way since Guitar Hero. The controls are you need pretty Guitar Hero unique. To come back, y'all. And mastering like, every control a revival of that. Bring back 2008. I try to bring them back. Your nobody wants it. 50 songs spanning various genres. It's only good on arcade mode these days. And everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians. <laughs> this is <and> chaotic. <laughs> <and> local multiplayer. <laughs> Trombone champ slides onto Nintendo okay. Switch later yeah, today. Yeah, that's it's a trombone. Uh, I'll not your be playing. Uh, in these Nintendo Switch games. Whoop, whoop. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. Oh shit! Blow, Hercules from Disney's Hercules. Or shove him off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Yeah, it's a Work with your generic battle royale with a fucking standing. mobile game art style. Yeah, uh, play and uh, first for consoles free to play. Switch. Nope. Next spring, a free close play. beta test I will be sleep. available this October. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this More open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to Boring. the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with speed. Best skills to claim victory and live to see another day. The good thing about pre recorded is you can like fast forward to the board and shit. Fast forward for everything that sucks. Console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic Contra. Okay. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal oh, of shit. weapons Contra. to crush the Red Falcon forces. 
spring into action with easy pickup and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. I've heard the series where I haven't really like got deep into it, but I like enjoy it. I, I, play, I play some of the arcade stuff. Enemies. I think I'll be like Contra 3 on the Powerful emulator or the attacks. Alien Wars. Oh yeah, these games are hard. Mode. Contra, Operation Galuga. This Storms one and uh, I think it's Hurricane. Early next year. That are hard as shit. Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your destiny. Dun dun dun. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Feveth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again. Yeah, there two point five D. Lighting his path. That Triangle strategy. The unicorn, motherfucker. Ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Cornea. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it, I will. Mother. Interesting graphics. Uh, it's very interesting graphics. Oh, yeah, like a, an expansive I feel like it's trying to be like three houses slash triangle strategy a little bit. And lead the liberation to glory. Yeah, they're putting all these like genres into a blender. I Honestly, like I kind of like the way the character models look, like in these little cutscenes and shit. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair, which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Mm. Atlas and Vanilla oh, shit, present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Finally. It's Unicorn Overlord. Tactical fantasy RPGs Available were dead March until this. 8, yeah, yeah. Unicorn is. Overlord. That's I, I have to look at the gameplay to see if I would enjoy name. it. Oh shit, Ouija's Mansion? Ouija's Mansion? Ouija! Ouija's like, back! Uh, not sure if this is a new game or remaster an old game or what. Shit. Luigi's oh, yeah. Mansion 2 HD. I got they dropped the Dark Moon Welcome title. Because uh, originally it was just called Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. I may, I may play this on. For some mansion mayhem. I may replay this on Switch because, yeah, no like, uh, spooky adventure is complete without this kind of trapped on 3DS right now. Yeah, it has multiplayer. Use it to light up dark areas. Again. Back him up I don't think this one's got multiplayer. Well, at least the original version didn't. It's a handy tool for your added. paranormal escapades. Plus, when you spot a ghost, pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball. Then vacuum them up. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. Hell yeah. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting, a former plant research lab. A broken down clock factory that's full of sand, so a mine down. covered in ice and snow, and even cool. more places. These troublemakers will use every trick in the book to block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and Can save Luigi the day? Do it? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across yeah, different multiplayer only. modes. What about co-op? Yeah. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. I don't, I don't creeps on Nintendo but... Switch. Hey, when games summer. have like, you know, online co-op and not like... Local call up. That was that. Oh, it's so hey. weird. Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Okay. You're a Mario fan. This you're eating good right now. This direct. I kind of feel like Nintendo's making up for like the lack of Mario recently. Honestly, yeah, because like. Oh shit! Question. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Huh. huh. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. I wonder if it's going to be around by the time we're... At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products... Probably not, because <laughs> it looks like it's just like, it's a proof of concept right now. Construction yeah. is going well, and we plan to yeah, finish March. Yeah, March, by March 2024. Damn. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. They'll probably bring it to tuned. America at some point, too. They probably are. Next, we'd like, like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing... I'm gonna hot glue it. I'm talking about Ganondorf. Amiibo figures of Noah... Hell yeah! From the Woo! Chronicles 3 Prepare for those to be scouts in high heaven! January 19th, 2024. Probably already sold out. Yeah, it's already, it's already sold and out finally, as we speak. We have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Sora. Hearts. Sora came out like fucking 12 years ago, and now we're finally getting like uh, a amiibo of him. Well, like, it's insane how people are still like mad, like scalping these fucking amiibos, even though like Smash is kind of dead. Probably took a while to negotiate with Disney. Yeah, he had to. Shit. They had to negotiate a percentage with the mouse. Oh shit! I have to see. 
Are they finally giving F-Zero fans what they deserve? First F-Zero game returns as a 99-player Battle Royale. F-Zero <laughs> 99. Oh, uh, four F-Zero fans, man. Classic <laughs> F-Zero courses with machines from the original <laughs> Super NES game. Oh my god. Speed races, but be careful. It looks awful. Uh, I'm so sorry, F Zero fans. Only five it's like guys. Monkey's Paw. What do F Zero game? It's like, here's a battle royale. It's like big clusterfuck. Yeah, no, this seems like, awful. Okay. It's like, bro, like, we went, I'm pretty sure they went like a new F Zero game, you know, with like new graphics. This looks awful. This would be awful. Super sparks, which appear when machines oh my god. To boost up to a special path the five F zero fans right now are cutting their wrists. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals oh and god. jumping into a higher position. I mean, Complete it'd be kind of cool as like a little side game, but like for your machine. when like there's been like an F zero game in like twenty years or whatever, it's kind of an insult. Yeah, this is kind uh, of insulting. Yeah, like. Players. It's probably going to be one of those things too where it's like, you got to buy this game support it or we won't give you like a real F-Zero game. F-Zero 99 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members later <laughs> today. So it's free to play basically. Oh my god. Yeah, no, we will not be playing. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a On that 30th royalty. anniversary, guys! also supports the Super NES controller Yeah, I'm pretty sure people want like a new game. Switch online members. Okay. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero, one humongous problem. One little hero, one giant problem. Welcome to Vandal City. A it's like another shitty ass like mobile style game. Fuzzy beings That's called shit. Mortals. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals uh, holding yeah. the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Are you gonna Journey across the land to gather materials well. and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the country. Treats earlier, Enchant so your experience even further girl. by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Stare off right now. Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. A League of Legends story! Gosh, it's a, okay, a League of Legends that? story! Join what the fuck friends, is this? New New and Willem on a journey more pretty across ass. the frozen wilds like of shit. Brelior. Jump, climb, it's weird. I'm kind of biased because, like, if a game it's like a certain art style, I can kind of tell it's like, yeah, not for me. I can tell that it's a League of Legends story. A League of Legends story. Strongest new snoo. Let's move into formation. Oh shit! We will. I don't know how I feel about the new Wario voice. I guess it's this decent. tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. In each micro game, you get into a specific pose called a form. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. It's like basically show. smooth moves to action as quick as you can. Hand mode. Hand mode. Hell yeah. The micro games will come one after another. So look. I even know the fucking Switch controller had a fucking camera in it. I six know six years like later, and I'm just learning this. Mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Oh shit. Freeze. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one. Most thing we're ever gonna get the Kid Icarus uprising too. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, Ooh. everyone's in for a wacky time. Wario like Wear Moon launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Awesome. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Not bad considering we probably won't get a you know. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Didn't didn't the, didn't the heroic tale already unfold? Army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. We have sweeping in at home. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Noah. Same, an officer Noah. from the Empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. Like, I got a black haired character called Noah already, so let's just call it NOWA. Alright, just gonna become a friend. A variety of heroes who can join oh, shit, a shark! Shark! You can recruit a shark this to your, your fucking base, team. Known as the headquarters. As allies join you, Original name there. facilities oh. will become available. It, it's literally. Crops, hey, y'all like speaking in too? Well, Konami's now we're gonna fucking actually go release that fucking, you know, remaster, so we're gonna make our own. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. Betrayal. Oh, shit, Sailor Moon, you recruit her. Awesome. And truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes I'll launches on Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. That sounds kinky. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this wow. paid DLC for Eastward. 
help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust a country life in a another indie game, game inspired by Harvest Moon Flash. with all culinary delights for your neighbors and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, don't People worry. Make fun of the you can access the DLC even if you haven't played the RPG, main story. Inspired RPG, game, but like nobody ever goofs on the on Harvest Moon well. They, they never do. Game. They never goof on the fucking Harvest Moon inspired. It's our Get farm sim game. <sighs> In this sequel to War Group, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction. Ooh, the mouse. Plus, Hell you can yeah. charge your commander's group to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. I'm like half under this up quick at 1.5 speed. Or create and share your own cutscenes and disgusting. campaigns. Disgusting, how could eat that? War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre-orders begin yeah. today on Nintendo eShop. This is just Advance Wars with, my, with mice. Oh shit, giant, giant blue hole. Giant blue said. hole. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and okay. create the day's menu. Then sushi game. To the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to I mean, find the best ingredients. Kind of fun, actually. If you see a fucking like praying mantis in the water, why the fuck Dave would you go and stay there? Launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop later okay. today. Swim. The final wave is oh, racing shit, in. Oh shit! Final wave. Here's a sneak peek at Wave Six. The final wave. Oh shit! Of Luigi the and the uh, Daisy ship. That's DLC. you. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave Six. From the <laughs> Mario Kart Double Dash game. Woo! Yeah. Donkey Kong. From Mario Funky. Kart. Funky Kong. Yes. Finally, I could be a Funky Kong main. Finally. And from the Mario Kart Woo! Game, Pauline. 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 Oh yeah. Dumpy too. I mean, she always been dumpy, but and damn. Also, Peachette. The fuck's Peachette? Wait, wait, wait. I, who the fuck is Peachette? Who the fuck is Peachette? Who the fuck is Peachette? I think I'm pretty like well versed in Mario lore. I don't know who Peachette is. Who is Peachette? What's the difference between her and Peach? It's like it's like, like Peach with like braided braids or something. Like Toad and Toadette. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Yeah, Toadette and Peachette fusion, ha, huh? you know. Maybe. Something new is among us. I kind of wonder engine. if this is gonna get scrapped with the whole Unity thing. Oh, should we now sing Among Us finally? Hell yeah. Among Us. Nobody even plays this game anymore. No, people do. Gen Alpha is obsessed with it, right? Aren't they? I mean, I tried playing, like, the game online a few times, and, like, I couldn't find anybody. Yeah, I'm kind of, like, wondering who the fuck is actually, like, still playing Among Us. Oh, shit. Mushrooms. I'm getting shroomed. Oh, uh, shit, we crashed. Everyone died. The end. Into the land of mushrooms. Oh, no, they all actually fucking survived. I thought they all would die. Producing a new map. Oh, shit. The shroom uh, map! Look at Sus Marshmallow. Into the fungal. The fungal! There's a fungus among us! <laughs> the fungus is free and launches this they October. made it real. Incubus predicted this in 1995. Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Recap. Recap! Oh my god. <laughs> 0 99. Pick 1 and 2. <laughs> I can't get over the F099. F099 is so funny. <laughs> A code Mario vs. Donkey Kong. They needed some extra time. I bet it's gonna be like nothing but fucking crap in the in the uh say to play. We hope you're I'm gonna laugh. To except times. they might. There's a non-zero chance Vincent video, Valentine might be there. A woman will come. Please take a look. I mean, I may so react to it. Uh... More Mario? I think it's what I got spoiled on. Uh, looking at the side tabs. Uh, is it what I think it is? Yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. Yeah, so they're remaking uh, Thousand Year Door, I think. Which, uh, I don't know why they're not remaking the first game. <laughs> not that mind, but like... Because Boombella's fucking better, dude? Maybe they, like, remake, like, both games or something. 
Are they gonna like, uh, are they gonna like, you know, like keep BB trans in this one? I kind of wonder if they uh, are. That's gonna be an annoying fucking discourse if they don't. Keep BB trans. Oh shit, big kitty boo. I got to play chapter four of this game and then just quit. Got the Game Boy Advance, that's kind of cool. Thank God they're remaking this game because if you want to like play legitimately, like fucking the copy costs like 100 bucks or some shit. Throwing Paper Mario was good. Now little kids look at the experience like the good Paper Mario, not the fucking. Origami. The fucking I hear Origami King is bad. Though. Yeah, Origami. Actually, I heard Origami King is alright. Uh, Sticker Star, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, this is like, you know, you know. The graphics look really good too. Yeah, the graphics look good. Fine, ignore me. Surprise me, Moto proves all the unique looking toads. You can't have all the toads looking unique, they gotta look the same. That looks beautiful, actually. I know. We are so back. Hell yeah. Okay, there's like a whole segment with like Peach. Again, though, it's kind of weird they didn't remake the first game, man. We could have, like, bundled them together, like, you know, Paper Mario and Paper Mario Thousand Your Door. But yeah, I'll, I'll be playing for sure. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, I guess I'll, I guess I'll finish Nintendo what I started with this game. With enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. Hell yeah. Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Cool. Thank you for watching. Cool. That was a pretty good direct. Like honestly, uh, like everyone's like the direct is a six out of ten. But honestly, I, 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 I mean, if you're a Mario fan, it's a great direct. Obviously, the final like you know game wasn't like a new game, but like it's a, definitely a beloved game that needs a need need like a remake or remaster. I think you're starting to realize just how bad the fucking scalping is, and I guess so. Nintendo's like, oh, we can make money, we can make money off this. That's why they're doing it. That's cool. But like uh. Hopefully, like, uh, I, I think they'll, like, sh they'll probably have, like, a separate, like, Shadow Drop street stream for the Switch 2. That's cause... the thing. I think they're, I think they're, like, they're probably gonna wait till closer to holiday 2023, honestly. Yeah, because, like, currently there's, like, nothing really major games, like, except for, like, the Peach game or whatever. And that now they're just, like, squeezing out every single, like, drop of this lemon right now. Like, and, uh, F099. It, it, yeah, F099. <laughs> Oh my god. F099 is so fucking funny, guys. Like, that one was so funny. Alright, I'm gonna stop recording and let's, uh... I'm gonna go work out. Awesome.